Uh, this next experiment uh, was, was for a desert environment. And uh, typically, uh, when we're asked to, to do a building in the desert, um, people are looking for a trophy building. They're, at, they're looking for a Western architect to bring a glassy, shiny emblem that they can, they can place out there in the, in the desert. And uh, when you go to a place like Dubai, uh, or Doha for that matter, you find a lot of buildings that have either very dark tinted glass or, or mirror reflective glass. And, it, and when you're inside the building, there's, there's very little daylight that comes in. It's sort of look like looking through a haze. And from the outside, the, these buildings are off-putting because of because the reflective uh, coating on the glass. It's almost like this sort of state trooper uh, mirrored sunglasses effect. So we, we, we took a look at how do, you, how do you do a better building? How do you do a more place-specific building? Uh, for a desert environment. Uh, this particular project was for, uh, for Doha, which is, which, is, uh, which is right on the Gulf, um, and it is a desert environment. Uh, and we worked uh, first with our structural engineers to come up with a, 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 an idea for the structure that, that expressed uh, the verticality of this tower. It has a roughly cylindrical plan. Um, but we also, we also tried to look at the problem of an office building in, in uh, in a hot climate or, or, or very, a place where there's very bright sun. And, and one, of the, one of the challenges is, you know, unlike uh, Seven World Trade here, where you, in New York uh, you don't have this problem of, of too much glare necessarily coming from the windows, but if in, in a place like Doha, what happens in the offices if you've got floor-to-ceiling glass is that they pull all the furniture away from the, from the window because you get a, a spot of bright sun right adjacent to the window, which is really uncomfortable to be in. So you have to back up about 10 feet in your office. And so you've got a bright spot by the of light by the window, and then you have to compensate by pumping up the amount of artificial light further in on the floor because, by contrast, it's, it's way too dark. You can't see what you're doing halfway in the office. So you don't really take advantage of the natural daylight, and, there's, and you have to put in too much artificial light in the floor. What we, what we took a look at doing was keeping, you, you can see here that the outer, the outer circle is the, is the ring of structure. This inner oval, actually, it's, it's offset slightly. So in the north, that oval is, is almost coplanar with the structure. It's set back a little further on the east and west and a little bit more on the south. Uh, we set back the glass and we put in a sunshade that runs around the floor plate. Uh, the effect of the, of the sunshade you can't see it so well in this section, but there's a sort of a tube within a tube in the building itself. Here's the, what it looks like from the outside. You, you read the structure, and there's a zone of, uh, of these sunshades in between. Uh, but the effect of this, this sunshade, which actually is a light shelf, is that it gives you an area of shadow right by the window. So here's the sunshade. This is the glass line. This is the structure line. So in between there, is where we hung this light shelf. It casts a shadow so you, you're comfortable when you're standing in the window itself, and it bounces additional daylight, it bounces daylight in deep into the floor plate so you don't have to compensate with artificial light. So there's, there's kind of a dual effect. It allows you to use the whole floor plate out to the window, but also you don't, ha you don't have to use as much artificial light. So you, s you save money on the energy of your lighting that's in the ceiling but also, you don't have to use as much energy to cool the building because you're not putting, you're not putting as much energy, uh, heat energy into the space uh, with your artificial light. So there's a, there's a, there, there's a dual effect that allows uh, this type of building to be more energy efficient. Uh, and this is what it looks like if you're inside the space. So you look out, uh, this is this diagonalized structure. Uh, this is the light shelf, and uh, this is the light sort of coming in across the ceiling. So there's a sort of a, a nice shady spot to, to look out across the Gulf.